This is not the most amazing looking building at the European Southern Observatory. It's the main maintenance building, or the MMB, as it's cleverly called. But some really cool stuff happens here. And the reason for that is, if you can imagine those big 8.2 meter mirrors up at the VLT that we've already seen, basically about every year and a half they need to recoat them. They need to get the aluminium covering replenished, replaced, because obviously it's been exposed for a year and a half. So they bring it down the mountain, they bring the mirror together with the cell that the mirror is embedded in, which weighs 45 tonnes. They bring that down the mountain, and then they bring it to here. Well, actually, they bring it to about here. And then the interesting part begins, because they've got to get it into the building, and then they've got to take it all apart and get some work done. And that's what we're going to have a look at now, inside the MMB. OK, we're inside now. And we're actually in luck, because what you see there, on top of this yellow bed, is a dummy of the cell that the mirror sits in. So you can kind of get an idea of the sizes we're talking about here. So that roller door there, that's the one I was the other side of before. So that opens up, obviously. And then the cell and the mirror together get put on this, this yellow bed, which is actually sort of like a hovercraft, and it lifts up in the air on a cushion of air, they don't want any shaking or vibrating of the mirror because the glass ceramic is so fragile. So they gently bring it along to about here. And then you look up there, that's a big lifting device. And this is really cool to look at actually, because what happens is I think this comes down and picks the mirror up. Well, actually first the mirror is kind of pushed up by its own actuators from its active optics, but that only lifts at a short distance. And then this thing's got to come down and pick it up. And if you have a look, I'll zoom in on these in a minute, there are these little hooks basically all around the edge that do the lifting. But because the mirror's got a hole in the middle, obviously, we know about telescope mirrors and why they have a hole in the middle, there's actually a few little hooks there that can lift the mirror up in its middle as well. So it all gets a big lift and then the next stage is behind that door and we can look through this window in a minute, but we can't go the other side because it has to be super, super clean in there. I'm looking through the window. Now the first thing you see there is that kind of big tub with the uh, yellow and black striped ring around it. That's basically what the mirror will get held in. So the mirror over here gets put into that through this door and into there. And then above, you see what, well, it's been described, I've heard it described as a bit like a washing machine. That's kind of what it is. They put a whole bunch of chemicals onto the mirror to strip the old aluminium coating off the glass ceramic sort of bulk of the mirror. Leaving it kind of naked, I guess. And once that's done, the mirror, which is no longer shiny of course, goes through to a vacuum chamber down the back. We can't see that from where we are, but it goes inside the vacuum chamber and there they put a tiny amount of aluminium coating over it to give it its reflectiveness again. They only use about 20 grams of aluminium. It's put on using an electric field in a you know, very scientific way, of course. We'll talk about that more later. That actually only takes about 45 minutes, the recoating of the mirror, so it's all shiny, as good as new. And then the whole process goes backwards. Well, the stripping part doesn't happen again, but everything else happens backwards to bring everything back out, back out through here, out the door, back up the mountain, back into the telescope. Now I said it takes 45 minutes to do the recoating, but everything else, all this delicate work here, actually takes about a week. So it's a good thing they only have to do it every year and a half. It's also really high stakes stuff. I mean, they don't have a replacement mirror and those mirrors, I don't even want to think about how much money they're worth. They're worth a fortune and making another one is something you don't really want to think about. So the whole process is, is really high stakes and everything has to be done super, super carefully. And, well, this is where most of it's done.